Gemini launch control now. T-minus 4 minutes and 15 seconds and counting. Astronauts Cooper and Conrad still reporting the status of their spacecraft as go. We continue our checks in the blockhouse. We have now tied in the launch vehicle, the spacecraft, the control center in Houston, and the Air Force Eastern Test Range. All is go at the present time. Now coming up on three minutes and 50 seconds and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control. Getting into the final minutes before this launch. Astronauts in perfect condition, cheery, as you saw a moment ago. Big smiles as they were seen both leaving the, their sleeping quarters over on Merritt Island, and as they got suited up, and as they actually got into the spacecraft. Three minutes and 22 seconds and counting. We're checking with a computer update. This is the spacecraft computer to ensure that it is synchronized for the launch. We've got just three minutes and two seconds to go. T-minus three minutes and counting. T-minus three. The voice you hear coming in is Jack King, the voice of launch control at Cape Kennedy. Immediately after launch, the spokesman will be Paul Haney from the Mission Control Center at Houston, Texas. Houston actually controls this mission. Control now, T minus two minutes, 24 two seconds minutes and, and counting. We have just received a go from the range. The range is clear to launch. Clearance has come from the range for launch. This is Gemini Launch that Control, T minus two minutes and counting. We have confirmation that our computer has been updated in the spacecraft. All systems still go on the Gemini 5 countdown. I have to get out of here. One minute, 45 seconds to launch. Gemini launch control. T minus one minute and 30 seconds and counting. T minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems still looking good. As we approach the final seconds of the countdown, the Titan II launch vehicle will ignite. The two engines in the first eight booster will ignite as we reach zero in the countdown. Three seconds later, after numerous parameters have been checked, the launch vehicle will be released. We will have liftoff some three seconds after ignition. Now, one minute and counting. Now they're at 24,000 feet, 2,400 feet. The program is complete. This program has been initiated. So far, a perfect departure for eight days in the space. Right. 42 seconds. Coming up on 
Titan two engines as Berger is going to go for staging, an event that should occur in approximately 20 seconds. That's the stage cut off that Paul Haney's talking about. That's when those two engines cut off. That should be in about 10 seconds from now. Those engines cut off just a the DCS load, the command load coming up from the ground has been received. There, you saw the We have staging. You saw the staging there. You saw the staging plane view go off. On our television monitors, and right on the mark. That was booster separation. The Page two spacecraft looks is good. now alone looks out there. on the ground, looks good to the people in the spacecraft. The booster, the 90 feet of the Titan II booster, has done its work well. It has been cut off uh, to float in its own orbit. Second stage ignition has taken place. Our guidance systems are solid and green all the way. All other values quite nominal. guidance system means the radio guidance is uh, correct the, uh, in function. It went in at 2 minutes and 48 seconds, about uh, half a minute ago. Second stage cutoff now comes in another uh, 15 seconds. Surgeon says everything's go. 3 minutes, 30 seconds. data shows the flight is progressing on exactly the planned rate. The spacecraft uh, with its second stage uh, the booster uh, functioning uh, is going well. Four minutes into the flight, four minutes, uh, velocity 9,600 miles an hour. G-forces after staging drop back to 2.2. Second flight directors pull the, all the flight controllers here in the control center. They all give us a go for sustainer engine cutoff. Second stage cutoff uh, and the dropping of the second stage of the... Four minutes, booster 30 comes. seconds. Four minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. In another minute. That's 100,000 pounds of thrust in that second stage. The second stage and the spacecraft are now under the control of Cooper and Conrad. They can maneuver uh, to a certain degree at this point. Coming up on five minutes. Our velocity, 13,675 miles per hour. G-force is 3.8. G-force, of course, is the gravity force. They weigh in at 3.8 or 80 percent of the required velocity to put Gemini 5 in orbit. The required velocity of 17,500 miles an hour. The velocity calculated at the second stage cutoff should occur in less than 10 seconds. The velocity is calculated. Uh,